today I want to talk to you about why the scales can make you fat. That's right, they can make you fat. And why do I say that? Well, the main reason is because they stuff with your head. So the first thing I want you to do is to pause me for a moment and run off and go and jump on those scales. Okay? So do it. Alright, I'm going to assume that you went and jumped on the scales. So how do you feel now? Do you feel better about yourself or do you feel worse? My guess is that you feel worse. And the reason is because we never actually see that magic number that we want to see on the scales. It is always eluding us. For the rest of our lives it basically eludes us. Because we go on the scales and you know we want to see we want to see this number. It's very important to us. It's very important to our self-esteem. It's important to our relationships. It's basically important to our whole existence. Now, hopefully, if you're not stuck in this, you know, scale obsession, then that's great. I applaud you. But so many people in society are stuck in it. And these are the people I'm talking to today. The thing about the scales is, my guess is it was created by the cook food establishment. And why do I say that? Well, because the cook food establishment wants you to feel bad about yourself. It creates things like products that we look to to actually feel good about ourselves. Even though we all know that feeling good about ourselves is created on the inside. You know, you're never going to find it in a product. And that's, that's basically what the scales do. They keep you fat, depressed and a good consumer. Because once you feel bad, you know, you get up those scales and you go, oh no, you know, like, I'm not good enough. Like, I'm, I don't see the number. I put on 500 grams. Oh no. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'm not making fun of anyone because I used to be there myself. I used to be a number chaser. I used to have anorexia and bulimia. But no more. I don't care about what I weigh. The only reason that I speak about it is so I can communicate to a culture of people who are obsessed with scales. You know, they want to know the weight all the time. Alright, so it, it's a good thing if you can get out of that mindset and get into measuring your progress through your fitness goals. You know, or like how tight your clothing fits or how loose it is. Using the scales as a way to track your progress is really, really pathetic. You know why? Because the scales lie to you. Yep, that's right, they lie to you. Because they withhold the truth. And how do they do that? Well, they don't tell you whether you've lost muscle, fluid, fat, or bone. So how do you know what you're losing? You know, you could be losing water weight. And most likely you are. If you're doing some crash diet, you're just losing water weight. And you're going to gain it all back on within you know, a couple of weeks or a couple of months. So save yourself the pain. With water weight, you know, the body, especially females, the body fluctuates a lot because of hormonal changes. So just welcome a little bit of fluid change. It's natural. You know, you don't want to become one of these sort of anorexic people like I used to be, who would just freak out at a couple of hundred grams. Or even a bodybuilder, like I used to date bodybuilders. And they would just freak out at like a kilo if they would actually lose a kilo. You know, most women want to lose weight and most guys want to put on weight. But it's all, it's all crazy because that scales is just lying. So just chuck it out. You know, it might be actually a good like therapy session to actually, you know, <laughs> smash the scales. But in all seriousness, we have to expect some weight fluctuations. Okay, so let go of that mentality that you need to be the magic number. Because the scales can ruin your relationship. 
I know that sounds so crazy, but they can ruin your relationship. Because if you get on the scales first thing in the morning, and you don't see that magic number, and a lot of the time, the rest of the day, you're sort of going, damn, you know, like, oh. And that can basically rub off into the relationships around you, because you're so stuck in your head about this number that sometimes you don't even think properly. Maybe not everyone is like this, but I definitely was, and I know a lot of people who are. So just ignore it, don't get on the scales, bash them up, throw them out, just get on with your life, okay? Next thing is, they can actually, and they do, make you fatter, indirectly. Well, sort of, almost directly. What they do is stuff with your head. So you get on the scales, you don't see that magic number, and all of a sudden you're like, oh no, you know, like, you know, I'm too fat. I'm not good enough. I have to go on a diet. And then what happens is we start to starve ourselves. You know, we starve ourselves of all the good foods, all the high carbohydrate foods, and all of a sudden we get really, really hungry. Like, and we get so hungry that we even start to eat our friends, the animals. You know, we start to eat other animals. That's how hungry people get. And we all know that's not good for your health. So you don't want to get to a stage where you're eating crap. You know, you start eating high fat foods, high salt foods, all of that. And then you wonder why you put on weight. See how the scales can directly affect your mental state? They can actually send you towards the bad food and then you get fatter and then you're back to square one. These fad diets, they just do not work. You know, especially these like low carbohydrate, like so, sort of like raw paleo diets, they don't work long term. You know, you may feel okay in the short term, but where about sustainability? And back to the scales. The scales can also do some crazy, crazy things like, they actually, they lead to the death of some people. The scales can kill you. You know, this is no joke. You know, people die of anorexia every day. And that's directly related to that magic number. You know, when I had anorexia, I actually, you know, began to avoid the scales because I knew it was just doing my head in so, so much. You know, and I, I didn't want to see that I hadn't lost weight. It's, it's crazy. So you want to stay away from them for that reason. Be, be easy on yourself. You know, be patient. Put the scales aside and just focus on becoming fitter, becoming healthier and happier. Because that's what life is about. Life isn't about being a number chaser. You know, life is about getting the most out of it, having fantastic relationships, and, and being yourself, being your true self. And that's when you get that ideal weight, without even trying. The way I got lean is I got off the scales, because they were doing my head in. And you might be saying, well, it's not the scales' fault, it's our obsession with the number. And that's true, you know, I don't want to give the scales too much of a bad time. But at the same time, if you're not strong enough mentally to be able to ignore that number, then I suggest you get off the scales. And the only time that I may use the scales is to check my hydration or to communicate my weight with someone else who really wants to know. Because athletes, when it comes to hydration, athletes may use the scales to check how much water they have lost, say, after a run or a bike ride. So in that way, it can become very handy. But if you've got this attachment to the, the number, then do yourself a favor and get rid of them. Remember this? You may have to do that just to really release it from your life. You know, don't get stuck in this cooked food world of 
buying products, you know, to make yourself feel better, or trying to attain this number that is never going to be attained. You can chase your tail forever, and that's what they want. They want you to be fat and depressed, basically. Because fat and depressed people are not going to lead a revolution, are they? No way. Because they're apathetic, they're lethargic, you know, they're unmotivated to challenge the status quo. So you don't want to become one of those people. You want to stand up and you want to be strong within yourself because you can be and a little number should not dictate how you feel about yourself. So reclaim your sanity and your weight and chuck the scales out.